So today I'm going to be looking at the effectiveness of using a portable air conditioner to generate heat in the UK climate. And critically, how much does it cost and can I run it for free from my solar rooftop array? Now, hang on a sec. Let's rewind slightly. So how does air conditioning for heating work? An air conditioner is really just a heat pump. Now, what heat pumps do is effectively take heat energy from one place, in this case outside, and transfer it, in this case, to the inside. Now, the interesting bit is that even cold air, or what we'd consider cold air, so zero or even below zero, air still contains quite a lot of energy. What this all means is that unlike a conventional heater that will effectively give out a similar amount of heat energy to the electrical energy it took in, a heat pump as it's actually transferring energy and using the energy input to transfer that energy can give out more energy than it uses in electricity. So in the case of a heat pump it might be taking one kilowatt of energy to run the fan and compressor and giving out three kilowatts of energy. Now it seems like a little bit of magic here, but really heat pumps are just using compression of gas to transfer heat energy from outside to in. Now in the UK, most heat pumps fitted are either air to water or ground to water. So they take heat from the air or heat from the ground and transfer that to water, which is then pumped around our houses and central heating systems. Air con systems are slightly different. They really just take the heat from the air again, but push it out in the form of warm air into the house. Now this means we're talking here about a heating source rather than something that's going to provide hot water for showering or bathing or washing up, etc. What this really boils down to is that if we look at that fan heater again, which is at current rates or what SSE are currently charging me per kilowatt of electricity, 39p per kilowatt hour, that fan heater, two kilowatt fan heater is costing 78p to run per hour for two kilowatts of heat energy or 39p per kilowatt hour. Of course, the heat pump at 39p per kilowatt hour is costing 39p to run per hour. So half as much to run, it's using half as much as electricity but it's giving out three kilowatts of heat energy or 13p per kilowatt hour. So in terms of electricity usage, the heat pump is a third the price to use. The final piece of the puzzle for me is, is my rooftop solar. Does this generate enough electricity for me effectively to heat my house for free? So this video is really just about a test it's November, it's a typical cool wet day, probably about nine degrees and overcast outside. I'm interested to see if running my portable aircon as a heater, A, works well enough as a heater to make the room comfortable, and B, uses, uh, or how much energy it uses versus the amount generated by the solar in these conditions. Pretty typical November weather. Southwest facing solar panel array with a total of 13 panels, a couple are out of view due to the dormer. The temperature is 18.1 degrees Celsius and it's 47% humidity. Ignore the time, I've not bothered setting that. I'm going to run the Electric IQ air conditioner for one hour and see what change we see in the living room temperature. Okay, turning it on, heating on, low fan mode and swing. It will take about five, ten seconds to, I suppose, compress the fire up and then it will start to heat the room. And we'll come back at about 11.30 and see what we're looking at.
Okay, so it's about an hour and a quarter later. I had meant to come back after an hour and, and was doing something else and forgot. But we can see that we're up over two degrees now to 20.3 degrees Celsius and 41% humidity. So basically a couple of, if we take up a couple of, um, couple of tenths for the last 10, 15 minutes, we're probably up a couple of degrees in the space of an hour or so. So what about the solar generation? Obviously, the question I wanted to understand was, A, would would I get sufficient heating output from the aircon, aircon as a heater? And B, would my solar panels generate enough electricity to, to run that for free? Well, I checked the generation meter before and afterwards, and basically the answer is, not quite so it is a bit of a cool overcast day um, but the reality is my, my panels have generated between 10 30 and 11 30 in the morning about half a kilowatt of electricity on this overcast day so about half the power usage by the aircon unit so what's the upshot of test one basically the heat pump actually worked pretty well uh, as an effective heater for the space uh, as i say 21 foot by about 12 foot living room diner so plus two degrees celsius over the course of the hour which brought it from a an 18 degrees which may feel a bit cool as a day-to-day -day house temperature to a, a reasonably comfortable 20 degrees the solar generated over the course of the same hour about half the energy required to run that now obviously there are other things going on in the house as well but if we assume that the solar is just being used to power power the heat pump then that, that's about half of the half of the cost of that covered which of course at about 3940p per kilowatt hour equates to about a cost of 20p for running the, the aircon for the hour.